intelligence man looking like someone that's doesn't want his face taken by cameras but this is back in the day back in the day that's back in the day who is that benjamin franklin that's benny frank ben frank that's ben frank ben, benny benny frank is that a on a hundo <clears throat> benny's on a hundo who's on a who are they gonna put on a thousand remember wasn't it like the statue of liberty on a thousand dollar bill or some shit like that remember that what if they did uh or like a what was it a 15 or some shit they should put somebody new on the thousand though they should who? Who the fuck? I would are they petition for somebody alive dog. to be put on the thousand. Dog. Who the fuck are they? Gonna, Could, what how president, baller would it be? What president are they going to put on there? If, if they, you were alive and you're on <clears> the thousand, Obama. You know, I'm not mad at that. If First if, black person on a yeah, dollar. If there's anybody that's going to be on there, I guess it's Obama. You know what I mean? Put Obama on that thousand. On that thou wow baby, oh the rack. God, that rack. I need that Obama rack. Oh the O rack. God, this is gas. I got. I brought three O racks with me. What's to up? the shoe convention. I brought three old racks with me. I'm going out to... I'm going to Blockbuster. They're having a closing sale. Have you been to a shoe convention? No, I wish. No? Dude, no, I would have thought, thought you would have been to one, bro. No, one of these days I'll I go. Really, I know Ernie has... Uh, I would have really thought you would have been to one. Nesto. Shout out Nesto, who's... Shout out you, to fucking you, security, you all know, Well, you all know him <laughs> as security. He's moved on up, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. And you know what? In our hearts... He'll always be security. He'll probably always be security <laughs> in a way. Not 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 any with no no <laughs> with all the respect in the world. He just he makes you feel secure. Yeah, big up my fucking boy from for uh you know, just stepping up his life in life game, the game of life. The game you of know, life. The game of life. I also wanna I mean, I also just wanna say congrats to him. Congrats for that new baby. Congrats, because he's having a baby. He's having a baby, ladies and gentlemen. Dog baby. It's something like a miracle of life, okay? Something that should be recognized. Dog, does babies scare you? Babies kind of scare me, bro. Not that, not that they're scary, but they're just a. It's yeah, just I mean, a lot babies of aren't scary. It's just a lot of responsibility. But having a baby sounds sketchy, dog. And uh, well, why is it? Why is that so sketchy though? Why? Why has it become so sketchy? Because because you have to be selfless. You can't be selfish anymore. And you like being selfish. I think everybody is selfish. Dude, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I take the cake for selfish, baby. Do you? I'm selfish number one, dog. I take all. I take the look good towel. I look uno. for the towels when I take a shower. I take the good towel. Always. You know what I'm saying? Leave the crust. When ones. I go for the pizza and I'm the first one, I pick the, yeah. pe the pick the slice I want, not the one nearest to me. The one you know? with the most toppings. Yeah. And if and if the pe and if the slice doesn't come up right when I pull it, I'll take two. You just take. I'll just both take of two. Them. You know what I mean? They come. I'm not gonna fucking do all that. I'm just gonna take two. I'll just eat them both. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's me, Doug. Even if there's like only enough for everybody to have one piece. Oh yeah, <laughs> you're like, well, you're like they fucked up cutting it. Oops. Yo, how and about you're gonna eat that one piece? You eat that piece so fast. By the time people start questioning it, you're like, you're like, well, I don't know what to tell you. Like, what? I don't know what you. I don't even. It was supposed. To, it, it said Brooklyn style. You're supposed to fold it. What is Brooklyn style? Brooklyn style, <clears throat> bro. I ordered this shit the other day. It was actually pretty, pretty. From good. From where did you get it? I got it from Domino's. Okay. Um, me I don't Ma believe him. me and Mateo ordered it. Oh, okay. But they had never tried it, so it was the same price. So I ordered it Brooklyn style, and it's like a pan, like a flat pan, but it doesn't have that pan crust, that crisp, that you know, that that. It, does it have? Does it? Is it like? like a, I felt like I was in Brooklyn. You know what I mean? When does I got it, it have that fucking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fucking? Kind of. It had a little bit of it. vibe. It had a little bit of had vibe. A little like bit that. of that drag it took on me it. Back, bro. I was about to go fucking lift up one of these sewer heads and see. Brooklyn you know what I mean? Style. You had to fold it. I had to fold it. Cause it was like not thick, right? No, no, no. It was really good. It was really thin, was it but thin? it didn't. It didn't have that like, uh, that flaky, fried thing that that pan crust has. Yeah. It was just a so a nice thin, perfectly cooked pizza. And shout out to fucking Domino's because I almost gave up on you. I, I haven't had Domino's in so long, dude. And uh, I always kind of forget that they're. Here's my problem with Domino's, and this is probably the reason why I stopped getting Domino's. Mm -hmm. They don't allow you to. Bridge. They don't have a fucking. They don't have a pickup option on weekends in our area, in town. What? what if okay. you go down to town, if you go into Grover B, if you go to Royal Grande, yeah, you try to get Domino's from those motherfuckers. Or actually, maybe it's past a certain time. They have Domino's there, bro. No, there it's not that fucking far, bro. It, they you don't have just pick up after a certain time, dog. Because they, they don't, don't want to get pickup. jacked. They don't want to. I don't give at the a fuck your fuck pizza, bro. Bro. You're a pizza place, bro, and they don't deliver to my house. So it's not like I could be like, fine, dude, I'll pay the extra. Because I, I would. I would pay the extra money for delivery. Um, 
It's not about that. Hey, thanks, man. It's not about picking up the pizza. It's about picking up the beer. It's not about picking up the pizza. It's about picking up the Shit. Beers. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we got these island beats. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah. Yo, these these are tropical IPAs, refreshing citrus notes. It has a little little dog right there with the eye. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the little, it's got the, the little dog, dog. The little dog. Ras- the little rascal's dog. Little rascal's dog. Fucking dude. Hey, so uh They're doing bad now. So we hit up your boy Ernie. Yep. He said he couldn't come through because he was watching the Cowboys game. Yes, dude. Let's see what let's see how the Cowboys are doing right now. Because last I checked, man, last I checked, Cowboys already lost. Last I checked, they were pretty much lost. It's ten to twenty. Is there not completely? Do you know what? You know, if you're a diehard, you won't let go. You're never gonna let go. You're not gonna let go to the fucking. Cooper bar- Rush has thrown <laughs> two interceptions though, man. Their their quarterback right now, two interceptions. How are they doing overall for the season? Cowboys. Cowboys. Not bad, dude. Like five and four and one, four and one. No shit. Five. They, there's only one team that's five and zero, oh, and they're playing them. Oh fuck. Okay. And so uh, they're doing pretty good then. They're not bad, dude. They're not bad, bro. Not bad. We shouldn't and be hating on Ernie. We shouldn't be. And hating on Ernie. their quarterback got injured. So their who, main quarterback. So, so who's their? He's got, he got a backup right now. His name is Cooper Rush. Cooper, Cooper Rush. Cooper Rush. That's who you're talking. About. Rush. So Cooper Rush. How about anyways, them Niners? How about them Niners though? Really quick, bro. Des Bryant. <laughs> Des. Des Bryant, former Cowboys player, yeah, put I think two hundred grand, yo, on the Cowboys to beat the Eagles. Yo, he said Cowboys smoking on that Eagles pack. Yo, no he way, said we're dude. smoking on that Eagles no. pack. Two hundred grand, two hundred grand. Well, what are the odds? I don't know. We'll have to find out. Two hundred grand, and Eagles are in favor. You think? Oh, they were in favor. He's probably gonna come up. Here, let me see. Over two. under. He's probably on trying to Cowboys, come up almost Eagles. a mil. He's probably trying to come up almost a mil. Over under. Probably trying to buy a Richard Mill. Trying to buy a Richard Millie. Yo, I'm trying to sports bet. I'm trying to gamble, dog. I don't understand NFL betting, dude. Dude, it's 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 you don't just you don't just bet on who's gonna win. You gotta bet on the point spread and shit. Dog, you know what's even easier? They're gonna win by six and a half. <laughs> yeah, like, how I does mean- that even make sense? Six and a half. Six and a half points. At least six and a half. So, like, oh, man. It, it's so fucked up because most of these bets, they're they're not really... Okay. So, cheers. some of... Cheers. Some of the bets... It's that crack, baby. Um, Some of the bets aren't really in, in your favor as much as you think they are. Some of them, you're only coming up 20%, 15%, 25%. And then you got those those people that are betting against against the odds, and they could come up fat. Like tw- like twenty thirty Big x like yeah well I mean, x you, you, you're on a minus eight or a plus eight hundred yes bro hey you ever see that dude that dude that has like a TikTok or it's like a short or something like that he goes if if fucking LeBron makes this this shot bro he's like I win bro you never seen that one he's like it's he's like I, I got the perfect numbers did he bro make it? yeah he did or he's like no if he's off Kyrie makes this next free throw bro he's like <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's such a good fucking TikTok, dude. He's probably so just so hyped on Yeah, it. dude. He won if too. Makes, I mean, he won like eighty five hundred or something. He makes his man. Yeah, makes it, bro. But imagine if you only threw in like four hundred bucks and you made like eighty five hundred. Because the the way they work, some of them, some of the point spreads are down to like points. Like points like third quarter, they're yeah. up by four or fucking some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Comes down to a, a real a real close one. I mean, I'm not trying to bet like that, but I might as well invest. 49ers came up short today. 49ers came up very short. And who'd they play? Played the Falcons, The dude. fucking Falcons. It was a disappointing loss, man. A disappointing loss, The Falcons loss, aren't man. bad. Don't feel bad for yourself, bro. They're not, Falcons they're are good. They're not good, though. The 49ers and Falcons are both 3-3 three and three right now. Rams, 3-3. Three 3-3. Three. Three three. Everybody's 3-3 three and three except for the, the Cardinals. And when do we play? Uh, We play again either Sunday? next week or the following week. You know what? Rams and Niners, that's the that's the game to bet on. You know who you bet for? You bet for the fucking Rams. Yeah, because they're for the they're, fucking Rams. They're favored to lose. If they're favored to lose, then then better for you, bro. Bet on the Rams. Bet on the Rams. <laughs> bet on the Rams. You get a better better fucking odds. They're gonna lose, bro. You get worse odds. Dog, there was a fucking man, I got it's been a minute, dude. So the other day, I had my security guard called me out. I went outside. Okay. And he was like, yo, you just missed some shit. I was like, <laughs> yeah. I was like oh, yeah. And he was like, yeah, yeah bro, you missed some shit. He sees like, it all, too. I was like, all right, what happened? And he was like, this guy was walking down the street. Uh-huh. He's wearing a, uh, a a dog mask. Okay. Like a dog mask, but yeah. not like a dog, like a fucking, like a kink, like a, 
Oh, like, like a, a fucking, BDSM like a, dog like a mask. dog. Like, like a like leather a, dog mask. Like, come get me. I'm a dog type come shit. Come get me. I'm a dog. Put me on a leash. Dog. Like and that? he's walking down the street. He was just walking down the street in, the, in his mask. And he's, you know, walking and he looks over and he sees our mailbox. Mm-hmm. The store's mailbox. And it's a street <laughs> mailbox. It's one of those ones with it's got like 12 fucking boxes. Yeah, on it. yeah. And he walks over to it. And the security guard telling me all this. He says, walks over, gets on all fours, pulls out a water bottle, and fake pisses on the post, and then turns around and kicks dirt at the post. What the fuck? And then stands up and sprints full speed. Out of there. This is San Luis Obispo. <clears throat> okay. Now that's the weirdest shit that I think I've ever heard of happening. I'm going to chalk it up to him being a college student with the weird vibe. Okay? He has a weird vibe. He's downtown. He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. He's not from here. Oh, he's, he's, from, he's from Oklahoma. I don't know where he's, he's from. from he's from Oklahoma. Okay. Oklahoma City. He's from OK. You know what OKC. I'm saying? Yeah, he's from OKC. Okay. That man should not be in San Luis Obispo dressed like a fucking dog trying to meet some hoes out here okay and where do you think the place to go if you're trying to meet a dog person is reddit <laughs> reddit you go on fucking it's not reddit. a bad uh, you go on reddit and you see not a bad answer what if they all meet it's up at the park answer. they could all meet up at the park well i think there is there's conventions for that kind of shit yeah but is it pub is it like a is it a thing you could do in the public? They're conventions. And, you know? They're, pu- they're, they're conventions. Indoor. I mean, they're, they're indoor conventions. They're running out the fucking hall in the yeah, Marriott. They can, uh. But they're, here's the thing. They're indoor conventions, but you got to get there somehow. You know what you I'm do, saying? You do. You can, so you, you got to put your shit on, and you got to get there somehow. You got to put in that work, baby. So it's indoor, that, yeah. but you, gotta, you might have to fucking walk a little bit. You might have to take a bus to get there. Dude, I never thought about that. How the fuck? Is, so he doesn't drive? That, he don't drive? That guy just runs? I can only imagine. He probably don't. He's probably scared of scooters. He's and roaming shit. the streets, bro. It's all chasing the mailman. He's looking, for, he's looking for somebody in heat. He's all smelling people, smelling ass, smelling ass, smelling ass out there, huh? He's on all fours, waiting for you to walk by so he can get a whiff. Dude, that's too much. I'm dog. so glad that people don't operate like dogs. <laughs> and the thing is, like, it would be totally so, like we wouldn't know if we if that's how we lived our life. We'd nobody think anything of it. We'd just no. be sniffing ass. No, you bro. would. You think well, we so, think of something? Well, so think, we, we we smell people's cooking. No, You're I know, like, What's, but what the fuck are they cooking? But I know, but if it was if it was a fucking primal thing for us to sniff ass when we like, like if I can't like when you meet somebody new, you sniff that like dogs, right? They, the they dog sniff go up to you, he doesn't give a fuck. He'll sniff I know. right in your ass. So what if we were programmed like that? What if humans like come over, come over to Mike's house, spend three be, weeks, the, and then you catch COVID and you can't smell for shit? Flip around, buddy. I got to You don't know what to do, <laughs> dude. You I got smell that, that ass today, dog. I got COVID, dog. I got to smell this shit. <laughs> can't smell nothing, dog. <laughs> I can't smell nothing. Yo, that would be crazy, huh? I always wonder what are the like are most. I mean, no, that's too far. Are too far. Are most dogs dogs that come into contact with each other sexually? Is it non? You know what I mean? Is it like? Uh, how do you say that? Non consensual. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, are they fucking forcing themselves on on each other and shit? Because a lot of times they uh, want it. You can tell they here's want it. The thing. You can tell they want that shit. But I've do seen the some, chicks ever want it? With I've dogs? seen some non consensual looking I don't contact the, with dogs. I don't think the bitches ever want it. They don't. Huh? They might want like the clout. They're like, oh yeah, like this is my man. This is that. This is that that I've, dude. I fucked a full, full blood, a full bread, and <laughs> full bread. I fucked a full bread. I fucked a full bread boxer. I fucked a full bread. Two thousand two. No, dude. Honestly, I don't think any sex is consensual between animals. Or you think the animals, like the, the dog breeds, they they know if it's their same breed. Like they give a fuck. Like oh yeah, like I know they know. Or, now, do you that's think a better just, question. Do you think they're oblivious to if they're like the same breed? That's a good question. You know, like if I put if I put a a fucking like a pit bull. Next to because like, dog breeds are kind of just like they, they're basically just like ethnicity because they're all from wolves anyways. It's not like they all like they're all different really. They all originate in the same spot. You think like a, you know what I'm saying? Some type of aborigine wolf. I think there's some discrimination between the, dogs, bro. I think there is too. You think the albino dogs get hate? I think it's regionally based. Regional? You think they smell by the I region? Think you like a German Shepherd? German Shepherds smell, bro. Hey, they all smell different. All the dogs. Some. But if you get like a German Shepherd around, like a, like a Husky, you think they know? Like a like an like an Israeli dog or something. Israeli dog. Those fucking. You know what I'm saying? Those fucking. Uh, what are they called? Uh, 
some type of yo all i'm saying is that you get maybe a you get maybe a fucking a real white dog around what's a like real a, white dog bro a husky like a what's, golden retriever that's a white dog see, that's I a doubt, gold dog doubt, i've never seen a white golden retriever see, i doubt a golden retrievers out here fucking with a rot rhodesian roller. ridgebacks rhodesian ridgeback rhodesian think, ridgebacks from africa i think those are gonna fuck with like a like those a, kill a hound. those kill lions no 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 you're right there's hounds there's canines they're different ones what's a hound a hound, oh, a hound dog. i know what you're talking yeah about. hounds there's, are there's like hound fucking dogs like shit. like the ones that go Ooh, they're wolf dogs and yeah shit. would you ever would you ever consider owning a wolf one of uh there's been a wolf in the shop lately it was a half wolf half german shepherd and it just looked like a giant german shepherd that smelled weird and when it walked in the shop i smelt it it smelt weird it smelt like i was gonna die donovan it smelled like if i made the wrong fucking move i was gonna die out there so you were really smelling it was fear. tall it was probably five feet tall just standing regular yeah there it is guys. put that in the fucking perception yo kinky blue is back in a new form. Kinky, kinky fruit punch. Kinky fruit. Kinky fruit punch. Dude. We're going to drink this kinky fruit punch. We're going to see what it's all about. Yo, that's now like... Here's, here, that's like the poor man's champagne right there. I'm going to circle back to uh, mm -hmm. something that I was thinking about earlier. And I've, I've been trying to see if everybody agrees with me or maybe they don't. But uh, babies. Children. Children. Typically children from the age... Right around the age of three or four. Would you agree that they all kind of just smell like fart? They all kind of stink. <sighs> they all do kind of stink. They all kind of, and maybe it's not like intentional, you know, like I don't blame it on the adult. They smell like non-invasive BO. Like they, it's not coming from them, but they picked it up. Like they're yeah. just, they're just that dirty. Non-invasive BO. They're like that dirty that like they didn't, it's not like they're dirty inside. They're just dirty on the outside. Oh, all of it's dirty. On you the know outside. what I mean? You're just like, bro, you're just dirty dog. You like, can see it. Yeah. yeah. Like they almost look like you could see the germs. Yeah. On yeah you almost can't. Huh? You're just looking at them like, bro, you look sticky, dog. Like sticky. you're fucking, you look sticky. Like what the fuck are you touching? And for some reason it smelled like fart when you yeah. come around. It's like someone fucking threw Kool-Aid at you. And, and I know dry. you didn't fart or your diapers clean, bro. I Shout know out to is. all those little bubs out there because some of you guys are cool. You just fucking smell dog. I honestly, you, you know? guys are all cool. Look from the ages of like one to <laughs> one to two, cool. one to two, you smell great. You smell like baby. Yeah. You smell like baby powder. Yes, that's the shit you smell right there. Clean as shit. Oh, you smell like a baby. It's fucking baby yeah, smell. Yeah, congratulations. Cool, cool, fuck, dude, baby. Don't, uh, don't from ages three to five, you smell like poop. You just stinky babies, dude. You got <clears> stinky yo, kids. Yo, they do smell like shit. And huh? then you hit an age where you gotta, you either, you either continue on as a stinky human, mm. or you become a normal person. They have this like small stage. Maybe right after the stinky stage, they smell like fabric softener. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you smell like your clothes, like fucking. Hey, bro, they you do, are huh? fucking right. You're dude. like, bro, you smell like like clothes, dude. There's a there's a point, like laundry. <laughs> there's a point. <laughs> there is <laughs> from around six to eight, yeah, dude, yeah, where you just dead ass yeah. smell like clean, like. Like, like clean linen, like, like the fucking air that's pumping out the back of your dryer. Yes, bro. Yes, just like that. Like it, you smell just like that. Yeah, you're like, you know damn boy, you crazy? look. Yeah, you're clean today. You nailed it, dog. Yeah, dude. You nailed it. And I know that because the last two times I went out and played disc golf. Yeah. There's been children in the area. No way. And you could just smell the downy coming down the line, huh? I can smell the fabric softener. What's the best fabric softener? If you had to smell one for the rest of your life. What are you gonna well, do if you had to? I don't, to? Know, if I don't I use, know. I don't use fabric softener because I like the stuff that's not scented. Because some of the shit that's scented gets too much for people around me, not me. I think Angel Soft is probably fine. Angel Soft, ooh, that's a good one. Is Angel Soft toilet paper? That's a throwback. That is toilet paper. Skip Never that. mind. Skip that one. Skip that one. Never mind, ladies and gentlemen. Skip uh, Angel Soft. <laughs> what's the one with the baby on it? Downy, bro. Right? Is that Downy? Is it? I thought Downy was the quicker picker upper. A Swiffer. No, no, Downey, Downey makes tablecloths on white. No, they make napkins, right? No, down, no. Snuggle, Snuggy, Snuggy, Snuggle, Snuggy's the big Snuggy's blanket the big thing blanket, you wear. bro. Yeah, I don't know snuggle. what Snuggle. It it's called Snuggle, the one with the little bear, and it's like blue with the fucking soft little blanket. It smells like, la like smells like vanilla and oh. lavender. Dude, you picked that, bro. I know, but it don't look good. What do you mean you don't look good? It just looks. That's what you, it's. That's what thick you ordered. And red and. That's poor man champagne. What do you mean it's thick and red? That's what you do. You'll be able to see. I mean, this is California, dog. That's a mixed drink. Yeah, it's fucking. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh shit. That's what I'm saying, dog. What are you hit a do? little Jeffrey Dahmer? What are you gonna do? Hit a little. You seen that Jeffrey Dahmer? No, I show? haven't. No, I haven't. But I heard about it extensively. You're not trying to glorify him. I'm not trying to glorify <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer. But I heard he was a sick fuck. I heard he was a sick fuck. He had a lot of problems. He was a serial killer. He yeah. was a serial. He was a serial enthusiast. Enthusiast. There you go. I'm not gonna take this shot of fucking just straight dude, up. Dude, why? Because look at this. What if you had to, dude? It's like the. It's like disgusting. The, but what I am gonna do, ladies and gentlemen, only man in America. Here's the thing. I'm the only man in America who fucking bought a kinky drink to begin with. Mike said, oh, yeah, you want that one? Fuck it. <laughs> you pointed like, it out. Yeah, you want that one? We've had kinky blue on the on the pod. Yo, dog. They had kinky pink. We got to get some Alizé in here. What is it? What do you mean? Al- it's Alizé, dog. Is it a type? Of, is that the liquor? Is that the type yeah, of liquor? Yeah, what the fuck you mean? Alizé, dog. Is Alizé like a rum? You, you ever seen Baby Boy? The movie Baby Boy? That's a, He got jumped on the bike, remember? After he bought the Alizé? Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, Alizé comes in a blue bottle. It used to be for bitches only, but I like to mix it with stuff, whatever. You know, call me crazy. You, you, you seen that movie Cry Baby with Johnny Depp? No. What was it about? I don't know. I was asking if you've seen it because I don't Baby. remember it's it. It's a new one? I think it's old. Or maybe it's, maybe it's not Cry Baby. Cry <clears throat> you Baby. don't put Baby in a corner. Oh, is that what it is? Uh, from that? Is that what uh, that movie is? From? No, is that what I'm thinking? The same thing. That's maybe? a different movie. Different movie, different thing completely. No, that's that's a different movie, dude. It's that's a porno. It's Halloween. Oh, Halloween. No, no, it's it's about to be Halloween. Oh, it's about to. Yeah, of course, dude. It's about. You know to, what, what that, are you gonna dress up as? You know what that means, though. Michael Myers time. That'd be a fucking. That's an easy one. That's easy. No, I'm I've just been saying, trying to think. Of, I have to get. I have to get a, a an Spider-Man. outfit. What are you gonna do? Lumberjack. That's like another good one. You should be Bill Burr, bro. You should be Bill Burr, bro. I don't have a Bill Burr. You don't I have a Bill do, Burr? I couldn't do Bill Burr. You'd have to do the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'd have to fucking do that. But coming up on this Halloween, is it damn near? When did we do When did we do the Hot Ones Challenge? Was that Halloween? I feel like it was That was, around, huh? That was, was around was Halloween, around yeah. Han- uh, Does that mean we got to go back? Does that mean we got to go back to the no- to the other room? There are other rooms, huh? Mm-hmm. There are other rooms. I'll tell you what. Someone, someone, f- 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 fucked up about a year ago at my job, and if I get that little settlement check, just <laughs> oh, a, just about we going back a year ago. We going back, baby. We going back. It was on uh, October 29th, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it was. In fact. We're about 13, we're about two weeks out from, from the anniversary of the Haunted Ones. So that's fucking cool. That's really the, cool. The guys. Haunted Ones, honestly, okay. I'll tell you guys this. Ladies and gentlemen, if I was in that spot by myself, I'd be shitting fucking bricks. I do not do well with that shit. The spirits are not meant to be fucked with. And we were in that dark ass, old ass, conveniently spooky room with the bad floor all alone, okay? And if you want to go, and stay in that room. You can. It's right above the bar. It's old and creepy. It's been out there since, what, the 30s or some shit like that? And I don't know. I'm just making shit up. But if you ever want to want to uh, just let us know a scary moment that's happened to you, all right? Because today it, it is October. If you want to share a, a scary story with TKBC and it, it's compelling, we'll, we'll throw it back on the show. Shit, we might even have you on. You know what I'm saying? So you need to come come and tell us your real Horror stories. You know who had some of the best horror stories? Who? Mark. Yo, who's who's a? You ever seen like a real ghost? Or Have so, I ever or seen something you thought was gonna be like a real ghost? There Did you? A, were you ever somewhere and you thought there there could be a real ghost? There was one time in my life where I thought I was seeing real ghosts. There you go. One time in my life, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. And uh, terrified me. Did it? It did. It's terrifying, huh? It's terrifying. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing, dude. If you think about what a ghost is, it can't. It's not. It can't die. It's not alive. If you really think about what a ghost is, it's just not real. It's just not real. It doesn't make sense to be real. 
And I just say that because I don't want it we to be official. real. We official out here. It, very, it could be real. Uh, I got these from India. Let them know. So we brought in these, these hazy IPAs. Mike um, said he got them from India. I don't fucking know, but he got to connect. So I'm not gonna. The, I'm not gonna argue with him. The thing is, mm -hmm. they're the official hazy. So if you've had an, if you've had a hazy before, I haven't had this one. You you haven't done it. You haven't done it right yet. This is the official. And dude, um, uh, and then and then you got those people that fuck. Oh yeah, tell them about the ghost. So tell them about the ghost. You want me to tell them about the ghost? You got those fucking people who say they like IPAs. Oh yeah, I love IPAs. That's all I drink is IPA. Like, what kind of IPA you drink? To like, oh, little something. I'm like, that's not. A, that's an ale. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm like, yo. Call I'm like, yo. Like, everybody's always like, oh, I love IPAs. Like, oh, do you? Oh, I, oh, I, I used to drink Lizard Mouth all the time. Like, well, okay, well, you used to. What the fuck? Like, that's all. That's all you got, dog. That's I, all you got. I used some, to drink Lizard's Mouth. It's some fig. When I was younger, right when we moved into a new house, it was my stepdad. Or, wow, no, my stepmom, my dad, my stepbrothers, mm -hmm. and I, uh, we moved into this fucking house, and uh, these things are sick, dude. Yeah, they are, huh? We got some of these at, at the shop, too. Some raw garden strikers. Um, and uh, our rooms were next to each other, but homeboy Darren would come over, my stepbrother would come into my room at night, and we'd fucking, we'd hang out. Fucking come over, we'd chat, play mm -hmm. fucking video games, play Game Boy, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, shit, hell yeah. Have a good time. Uh... And it was one night he fucking comes over, and I had a little space in behind my bed. Like, my bed wasn't flush against the wall. Mm -hmm. So you could just fucking sit back there. And so he came over one time, or came came over to the room one time. We were fucking playing games or talking or something. And, like, I see somebody walk by the front of the, like, my walk by my doorway. And, uh, like, he hears it. It's like an audible footsteps. So like I, he, he can't see the doorway. I can see the doorway, uh, but he can hear. So at the same fucking time, he goes, at the same time as I go, did you see that? He goes, did you hear that? We both are like, whoa, what the fuck? It's fucking weird, dude. And what I saw was what looked like somebody in like a fucking really light blue or light, I don't know, just light colored fucking like a night dress or nightgown. Kind of short, and it looked to be a female. And I was just thinking, well, fuck, I was like, oh, it's probably my fucking sister. Somebody in there, yeah. So we got up, and we went and looked. We went into my little sister's room, and she was fucking crashed out, not wearing anything like that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that was pretty much it, dude. One of the weirder experiences I've had. I still can't can't uh, explain but it. But you guys are both like, what's that, huh? We both, I was like, yo, did you see that? Right as he's going, did you just hear that? And, uh, yeah, to this day, like I said, we both, I don't think either of us have any explanation for what that mm, is. Yo. Unexplained events, you know? My buddy Ryan has a story. He had his friends over, and uh, they were all in the room, kind of hanging out, watching TV. Two friends over. Mm -hmm. And uh, they all very distinctly hear... It, what sounds like Ryan's mom knock on the door and say, Rye, Rye. That's what she calls him. She calls mm -hmm. him Rye. And uh, he like answered. He was like, what? And like didn't hear anything back. And he goes, check the door and nobody's there. And he was like, what the fuck? So he like goes into the living room and he's like, what'd you want? Mm -hmm. And his mom is like, what are you fucking talking about? Like I, yeah, I, I did not. She's like, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't come to your room or anything, and he never like told her that it was. He's like, I never told. He never told her that he heard something, but uh, yeah, him and his friends to this day, he's like, he can't tell me that story without getting fucking chills. Like, swear, to God, all his friends are like, yo, your mom's calling you, huh? They were, like, they were in the room. They heard knocks. Like, no shit. Rye. Yeah, fuck Rye. that, dude. Fuck that. Especially when you know when everyone hears it too. It's not just you, all stupid. Everyone's exactly. Like, everyone's like, oh, is that your fucking mom? <laughs> yeah, so that, that's that's some weird shit. Other than that, no. Uh, well, you know what? There was one other little weird fucking situation that happened with my me and my my stepbrothers as well. Different house though. We were up late one night, and uh, bro, there were no fucking trains in the area. Mm -hmm. There are no trains in the area at all. We we're up till like three in the morning one night. It's like being right here. You're not gonna hear a fucking train, dude. 
I can hear and we heard gunshots. And then we heard what sounded like a fucking train. And then a train whistle going hella loud. Like, bro, in, like, in the dead of night. What? Like, we were in our rooms like, what the fuck is going on? Like, what? <laughs> we were like, like, is there ah, a train let's get around the fuck here? Out of here uh. And we were like, dude, there's no train But you guys didn't open the window or anything? Like, the window the was open. Oh, shit. Yeah, the window was That's why we were hearing it all. Oh, shit. The window was open. And so you heard like a ghost train. We heard train. like a gunshot. You heard a ghost train. And then we just heard fucking train, like a train. It was, And I mean, honestly, th that could be probably explained and boiled down to like, you know, maybe it been a fucking... A big ass truck or something who had a weird had a weird horn or something, but it did not sound like a, a truck. You can, you can hear a train. Sound like, like a train. Yeah, you can hear a train. And I remember we were all kind of like you can hear the caboose, all that shit. The fucking you just it's it it's was chugging momentum. It's like momentum. It, it sounded it. like it was chugging. Yeah. Like, and then it, yeah, I don't know, Whoa. man. That was a weird one. That's I don't too know, much. man. What That's about too you? much, dog. Got any spooky shit that has ever happened to you? Um, or people around you that. I mean, one time I was at my, my aunt's house and uh, she has a hallway that uh, you could see down, right? It's like, a, say if I'm right here, there's a door open. You Dark can see, as fucking You can see to another door down the hallway, right? Yeah. And then in between that, next to the other door down the hallway is a bathroom. So I was like, yo, I was over at her house. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna hit the bathroom real quick. She's like, yeah, whatever, do thing, you know? And I'm like, okay, cool. So I go. And I go towards the bathroom and my, my cousin's room is next to the bathroom and she had a bunch of those old porcelain dolls and shit like that. Like a bunch of them, right? Nah. Yeah. And I remember just being like, yo, I fucking hate those dolls. And then her room was closed. Right. And I went to the bathroom and I left the door just like cracked. I didn't, I didn't like slam it shut. I just left it. Cause there was no one, there was no one in the house. My aunt was on the other side of the, the hallway watching TV or whatever the fuck. Like I just, I was pissing real quick. Yeah. So I go take a picture real quick, and then I just get like, like the, like you know when you get those the, the chills, hair up on your neck, bro. you know when yeah. you get the hair up on your neck, and I was like, oh, okay, and I was like, whatever, I'm taking a piss. I'm like, ooh, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just gonna chalk it up to me having a good piss. Yeah, it's I'm good like, you piss, know, it's a good one, you know, it's a real good one. So I'm in the mirror, and you know, in the mirror, you could see the fucking door, and the door's cracked. You know, you can see outside the For door. Your, yeah, the yeah, you know, like door, you yeah. can see, you're like washing your hands or whatever. So I'm like washing my hands, and I'm getting like the chills, and I look up. And I fucking, I look into the mirror and look out the, the cracked door. And the, the door's cracked about this this much, ladies and gentlemen. So it's enough of a crack. It's not like a little, it's enough of a crack. And I look and I just see something like walk by. And when it walked by, it looked like a shadow that had like, that was entrenched in some kind of like, um, like cloak, I guess. Right. And I looked at its face and I felt like it looked at me, but I couldn't describe what I was looking at. Like I couldn't see features. I just seen a face. Oh. And then it looked like it was, it was, it had like a bunch of, uh, like broken, almost like broken Christmas lights, like over it. Like it, it was some shit where I'm like, what the fuck? And by the time I even comprehended, like what I was even seeing, I was just like, like, oh, oh, oh shit. Like I was just fucking, oh, like, you know, so I fucking, I opened the door. And then when I opened that door, my cousin's door that was next to me was open, was cracked open too. And I went to the hallway, which was like eight feet that way with the door open. My aunt's sitting there watching TV. And I say, hey, did you fucking see something? Like, do you see anybody in here? And like, she's like, no. And I'm like, she's like, what do you mean? I was like, I was just right fucking here, right in front of you in this hallway taking a piss. I could have sworn I seen something, you know? And she goes, no. She goes, sometimes I hear shit, though. And I just wonder, like, you know? And I'm like, yo. That shit's weird, yo, bro. Yo, dude. Yeah. That shit's weird. Yeah. And that's the only time that's ever happened to me. But I remember, I remember being like, yo, what the fuck? I mean, I. Yeah, stranger shits happen, right? Yeah, stranger shit has happened. Stranger shits happen just in life, bro. For uh, to 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 not entirely believe. Imagine if I wasn't scared and I looked at it like I'm gonna fuck you up. What are you doing in here? Fucking Imagine target, that. Dog. Imagine that. I'm you like seen that what video the of the the chick who's like doing a YouTube video or something and yes, her fucking curtain behind yes, her. Yes, that was weird, bro. And she runs at it and fucking socks the curtain. She goes, huh, she runs through it, huh? That kind of okay. <clears throat> I looked at it a couple times, right? I looked at it a couple times. They kind of look like there's something back there. It almost looked like it was a gust of wind, like a strong gust. You know, See, every once you know, every once in a while, or yeah. or it looks like somebody. Okay, this has happened. If you, uh, because of air pressure, if you open a door that's connected to another door, it'll slam. Oh, yeah. Like you know, so it almost looked like someone opened a big door and the like and the, the air came the in, air rushed through, but it, it but through. it was it was uh like the material had can can pull air through it. Yeah. So it looked like that happened, but if she was the only one there, then that was creepy. It looked like someone went like, 
It was it Yo. was it was high. It was high enough that it did. It, it was me pretty out. up there. It was like seven, six feet up there, seven feet up there. And she was doing TikTok and then she went. Was, she ah, was. It ran and she fucking, ran his fucking clock. And she that fucking boy. jumped through it, huh? Like jumped at oh, it. Oh, dude, she, dude. She fucking hit. If there was a ghost there, it ain't happy. You know what no, I mean? It, it's it, not happy, bro. It's not like in no, life right now. No. Did you? Uh, speaking of fucking socking shit in the face, you don't pay much attention to basketball, but there's a player called player named Dray- Draymond I seen Green. That. I seen that. Yeah, when yeah, it yeah. Made rounds. Yeah, Hell, Draymond yeah. Green got them hands. Sock Jordan Poole, bro. He and got fucking those laid him the fuck because <laughs> he was talking dog. shit, huh? So the reports are, Yo. this is from Draymond's fucking. Yo, that shit. Is, was, I guess I seen the video. I seen the video. There's someone Dude. from like a vantage point. Yes. There's, Yo. Yeah, like filming the practice. Yeah. He just like walks <laughs> up on him. I'll fucking. Yeah, and then it goes boom. And then he gets pushed and just lays out the gnarliest straight, That was the straight, best shit bro. in sports history in it's last, fucking last good, year. Bro. It was it's hard <laughs> not to, uh, it's not hard not to just kind of appreciate Draymond as a, as an athlete. Draymond Green, right? Draymond Green. Draymond Green. As an athlete. That man's a real deal. But anyways. The the rumor is, yeah, Jordan Poole was talking shit. Yo, hit me with it. What's good? Lighter. Oh, lighter. Here, here's a here's some matches. Yo, Draymond Green. But Draymond Green was a. Uh, I guess Jordan Poole was talking shit to Draymond Green because Jordan Poole's the young gun right now, who's who's working on this, who actually just signed a, a big ass deal. And I guess Draymond wanted to re-sign on a big ass deal. Mouthpiece or mouthpiece? The other the. Yeah, there you go. And so, Draymond wanted a big ass fucking deal, and Jordan Poole knew he was gonna get it. And was has been t- I guess he was been getting all cocky and shit. But why did they give it to Jordan, not Jordan Draymond though? Because Jordan Poole's young as shit. But what He's is it? But guy. is he better? No, Ar- it's Ar- it's no, hard to argue, huh? He's bro. not. He's not. He could be. Draymond's been around since been around though, so it's hard to ar- not. I mean, he knows his worth too. But at the end of the day, yeah, it was, it was Jordan Poole talking shit, being like, "Oh, you know what it is, Draymond." And Draymond got in his face. But he was Laid talking, him out, he was bro. talking shit to someone he was on the sidelines. Jordan Poole was talking to somebody on the sidelines? Draymond? Whoever got sock wasn't even playing. It was he like was, a he, practice game. He was game. playing, bro. It was like a practice game. Yeah, they were practicing uh, against each other. It was like a pickup? It's like a team practice. The team practice get heated, bro. These motherfuckers want to win. They don't care. They don't even care if it's not even a real game. If, okay, who who's, who do you side with? You're the judge. Who do I side with? Are they going to kick him out of the NBA? No, fuck no. He was. Well, what the fuck did they do? No, he's Sue fine. Him? No, he's fine. They, he apologized. He took the L? He took the L and apologized. He, Draymond apologized. He took a one game, like, suspended or like a week off or something, and like, he's back. You know? Shout out, Draymond. Shout out, Draymond. Shout out. Who do I think is in the right? I don't know if he should have fucking socked his teammate. Yo, that's your teammate, bro. It's like, you got to see that fool. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if I would have socked my teammate. Straight double dick. Sometimes the egos get the best of you, man. And when you're talking millions and somebody's talking shit about how much you... You know what it is, Draymond. I'm about to make more. Everybody... Okay, I don't even play basketball. But when I did, right? I don't because I suck. I'm going to admit that. But when I did, it, it, it fucking hurt me to my core, dog. When I got fucking... When I got dunked on... It, it hurt my hurt How my soul when I got on, when bro? I got packed, when I got fucking swatted straight the fuck up. When I when I said money and I fucking bricked it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude, oh, money, dude. When I'm all fucking, dude, you try to bust like a rainbow shot and it just fucking flies over the backboard, dog. It was over. You know what I would do? I would shoot those hooks like Dr. J and hit the backboard, pa, bro, from the outside. It's over, dog. Don't come at me on the outside. Like Kareem. Mm-hmm. Mr. Abdul. Uh, man, I really wanted Matt to be up in here though, uh, because I, I wanted to, I wanted to bring up how his Broncos are doing. How are they doing? Not good. Well, break down the Broncos because he ain't here to defend himself. Break them down. Russell Wilson just isn't acclimating well into their offense. Russell Wilson honestly looks like a shell of himself. That's what everyone's been saying, dude. Uh, they play the Chargers tomorrow. Here's the thing: Broncos are two and three. Okay. Chargers are three and two. So I mean, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I mean, maybe maybe the Broncos. This is the game that they figure out where their identity is. They they come through. They make they get a win. But it's gonna be hard to uh, <clears throat> it's hard to say. But I remember I, I told them I said I could see the Broncos going seven and ten. You motherfucker. And I still see it. You motherfucker. I still see it. 
I don't know if the 49ers are going to go 7 to 10. 10 and 7, I mean. I think the 49ers are Who's the best player on the Niners? They have a lot. Who's the best though? You know Nick what? Bosa? Nick Bosa. Are you sure? Bosa's pretty dope, dog. I watched the highlights. Or Trent Williams? Williams been there longer, right? No, Trent Williams has been in the in the league longer. He's a, a offensive lineman. Hmm. Who's your running back? Elijah Mitchell, but he's injured. So we oh, have Oh shit. We have like three fucking backups that we're running right now. They're not really backups, just not first first fucking not not the person who would be getting all of the fucking all of the carries, you know what I'm saying? Like <clears throat> they're splitting it now. Hot route, hot route. Hot route. Hot route. Blue 43. Dog, you seen any you, you, you seen anything good lately, bro? What you been watching? <clears throat> <clears throat> dog let me tell you i watched the the season one of the lord of the rings oh do you like it the ending fantastic i thought it was gonna be bullshit i was gonna go i was gonna start making a fucking i don't know some type of you were gonna like a youtube review i was gonna i was gonna talk shit preemptively i was gonna preemptively talk shit in you my were mind already making it and then you know what it all came together baby and i was so happy about it which one is that is that the presidential shit this is that uh, G note, C note. Yeah, the C note. This is the C note. This is straight up Kush right here. This is gas all day. That other one? Yeah. Is even better. Talk about it. The presidential. Well, this shit. So this, 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 these people came through. The the good one, the unruly over there. Unruly. The, the black jar, unruly. It's a straight up OG Kush. <clears throat> the weed company's name. They're. It's called Blem. B L E M. It's like the worst fucking name for a weed company. That's weird. Blem. But uh Blem Cannabis. Fire. Yeah, shout out to Blem. Serious fire, dude. Uh they do sixty dollar eights. <clears throat> so right up there with cannabiotics. That's what they are. That's kind of what they market their shit as. Right up there. Right up there. Shout out CBX. You've been smoking on CBX lately? Yeah. Um What's the new new? They got a cream. Yeah, they got a cream, and then they got one um, that's more sativa based, probably like a seventy thirty. It's um, I don't know. They got a lot of stuff, bro. Uh, I'm I'm really into straight like creamy indicas, right? I, I like berries a lot. Like some people don't like berries. I like berries. Berries. I like all the sativas. They got a really, really super dope, super silver that Tropicana. Uh, there's a bunch of them. Uh, Blue Flame OG. You know what I mean? Shout out Blue Flame. Shout out, Shout out Blueface. Shout out Mount Zero. Hey! You know what I mean? what? Did you see Deontay Wilder knock out fucking Robert Hellenius no, last night? No! No! He knocked him out? First round, bro. No shit. First round. Shout out to my boy, Deontay, right here's there. The, Shout the thing, out to though. my boy. I'm all for it. I like seeing Deontay Wilder get knockouts. I'm good on that. But, my one complaint is that Deontay Wilder... All, what we've seen from him is when he fights Tyson Fury, when Tyson Fury is able to kind of overwhelm him and drag him into the later rounds, yes, he becomes less effective. Yes. When Deontay Wilder goes out here and knocks somebody out in the first round, we don't see anything. Slugger. We don't know if he's developed anything. So, like, yeah, he's fucking knocked homeboy out, but, like, could he fight Tyson Fury? Like, could, could Tyson Fury, he does what he... Could he do what he's already done to him damn near three times again? You, or has Deontay Wilder made the changes necessary? But we don't know. We didn't see him go past the first round. It's whatever. You know, good on him. Oh, man. We also saw... We could see the same fight again. Like you said, it could just be the same fight. Could just be the same thing. Could just be the same thing. Tyson Fury takes him all the way into the <clears throat> fight. Maybe knocks him out again. Fight. Tyson Fury, like, plants his punches. He just... He sits Who's on Tyson him. Fury supposed to fight? Nobody. Nobody? Nobody. Nobody. I thought he was going to fight... He's been calling out Usyk. He's Alexander call Usyk. Yeah, or... Um, Usyk. I mean, shit, he has no one else to fight, dude. No one's that big and that, that fast. So... What about... Uh, no one's that big that fast. Anderson Silva, Jake Paul coming up here in the next week Anderson or two? Anderson Silva's gonna knock him the fuck out. I really, really, really hope so. If he doesn't, then we know... I don't Anderson have any... You know what? Then we know Anderson Silva took the bag. Oh! Uh, unfortunately... Anderson took the bag. He's getting older, too. 
he hasn't dude, fought I, in a while. He took the bag. Bro. I don't want to think that he people are doing bag, that shit in dog. combat in took, combat sports. Bro. Combat sports is still it's still sports. I know, but here's the thing, dude. I feel like, and uh, you're right. At the end of the day, money's money. And I sit here. I could sit here. Pretty much every day of the week, I would sit here and tell you I would let somebody knock me the fuck out for fifty grand right now. It's not going to make him any less of like a UFC champion. He's I would like, go and get knocked the fuck out right now for fifty grand, and that's on a lo- that's the lower end of somebody's payout. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I like, like, I can imagine if somebody was in there, you know, they're like, "Fuck it," you know. I need a little bit of money. Just I bet to you when you sure wake I, up, you're just like, I don't even remember. Okay, cool. I don't even remember what happened. You're just probably like, oh shit, that happened. Hey, you I know, mean, like, here's what? the thing, dude. If somebody, if say you were like, say you had a, I don't know, bro. That's that's where it's hard for me to fuck. That's where it's hard for me to to. I can't get knocked out for fun. I'm too skinny. I can't be knocked out for fun. If you had a gnarly ass this career and you're like known as one of the greatest of all time. Are you gonna let your pride just let you? My fucking pride wouldn't let me. Like that? that my pride wouldn't That's let me. I try to knock his fucking head off. I'd right, be going right out right there. The start. I would want to make. I would want people to. I would as Anderson. I would try to knock the. I would knock the mm-hmm. fuck out of Jake Paul. You know what? You know what I would do? I would take him out with the body shot. So embarrassing. As much as I could say, I understand. I could see. I if somebody was offering me life changing money, mm-hmm. five six million dollars, yeah. just take the fall. Yeah, I might be like, you know what? All right. 1.2. Quick a quick three. You're going to make 500 if you win. If you take the fall, we'll pay you out an extra $3 million, you know, plus your show money. So you, you're walking out with 3-5. Got to pay your trainers, pay all the people. Boxing sucks. You're feeling, you know, that you start thinking about that. I got to pay all my trainers. Hmm. I got to pay, you know, I got this more, my mortgage is... This much. I only have this you much start, left on You my start, card. like, giving them all your bills. You're like, add this shit up. You're like, this is like <laughs> I need this. Like <laughs> Three million. I need 1.2 right now to settle every bit of my finances. <laughs> yeah. Believe me, two million to sit on for the next 50 years old, damn near. Yeah. I only need really another 30 years. I think I'll take it. You know? So that's how I mean. That's why you'd have to as have. As a human, you got to think about it like that. You'd have to have, like, uh, like at least, like, 100,000 or, like, okay. You'd have to have at least, like, a million liquid. Like for you to fuck with a million liquids, a million liquid. Oh, I got you. To, I to comfortably buy a Lambo and be like, yeah, that's just my car. You have to have a million liquid, a I million would, floating yeah, around, yeah, yeah. and then you'd have well, to that, have, and then you'd have to have so many million in investments. That's what they say. Giving right? you that million liquid just to to have it and for it not to be a problem. That's what they say, right? You're just like, yeah, it's on the side. I couldn't justify. I'm at the point in my life where I don't know if I could justify. How much does the Lambo cost? I, I, oh, let's find out. A Lambo? What kind of Lambo? You want the good one? You want the new one? Put the new one in right here. Find a good one. Here, watch this. Find you know one I mean? that is worth... Not the one that you're like, midlife crisis, I have enough money for it. <laughs> no, the one where you're <laughs> like, this is gonna set... This is gonna be my life. This Lambo, basically. Yo, there's a bunch of different ones. I'm just gonna fucking pick one. Uh, 369,000 MSRP. Fuck. That ain't shit. A lot of money. That ain't though, fucking dude. shit. Yeah, but you gotta you gotta think about it. Just like it ain't shit, dude. They, they play ball, dog. The more money you spake, the more money you make, the more fucking more you spend. It's like that's like five years of working. Yeah, and no, not to them. That's what I'm saying. You get yeah, it's a different mindset. That's like, like six that's years nothing. of working. That's nothing, bro. Don't don't fucking waste that in a in a weekend in, in a suite in Vegas. I'm more interested in you know what I've honestly been looking at? Win Lambo. I've been looking what, at this. What, what, are to, <laughs> what are you trying to look at? You can't even say it. Shit, that's crazy. They got the Euro. How much Lamborghini? Okay, the Diablo. Any I've honestly, car. I've honestly been looking at the one of the. It's a fucking. It's one of the uh, any, any sports car. No, bro. It's one of the. It's a fucking Kia. Yeah. Shout out to all the Kias out there chugging along. You know what I mean? Kia's a good, a good company. They're trying to help people. Shout out to all the people driving Kias saving gas. You know? The Sorento. Some bad drivers out there. The Sorento? I feel that. I like that car. That vehicle is a, is a classic it, look. The inside of it has a great design. It's incredibly. Great, great colors. Look, MSRP. How much are Emerson? 35 grand on the Kia Sorento. 
on the Kia Sorento, 35 grand. Nobody cares about this, but you know what? You're in the clinic and we're talking about it. How much of you, how many of you would buy a Kia Sorento for, how much is it? MSRP? 35. 35 grand for a Kia Sorento. How much do you think it's worth? What are you going to do with it? You know? Do you have a family? Is it, a, what is it? It's a straight up four door. Obviously, it's not a coupe. You're not driving a coupe Sorento it's around. It's a nice ass car, is what it is, dude. What, pleather all around? Dashboard pleather? Pretty much. Cool. Full ass, all fucking. You got the full fucking screen. You know what I'm saying? Full screen, dashboard. Wow. I'll just show you the camera. There's a full TV on there. You basically get a full TV. You know what I'm saying? Full TV. But what it, really what I'm about, what I've I've come to realize I, I enjoy is this panoramic fucking Oh the Panamer the, the Panamer the, the panoramic, panoramic suit, sunroof, sunroof where it fucking yeah. opens all the way around. But anyways, baller classic alert. vehicle. Big baller alert. Yo, that's like a it's that's a, a classic crossover. Vehicle, that's a bro. crossover. You didn't say it was a crossover. It's a Sorrento. It's a fucking hamster. What are you talking about? This is Sorrento. It's a crossover. What's that mean? That's like it's like a it's like a car the hobbits use. <laughs> is that what that is? Yeah, it's for hardfoots. Hardfoots? Mm -hmm. yo, bro, I don't know what you're talking about. Yo, dog. That shit's crazy, dude. But anyways, something like that. Something not something not as official. Something not a hundred grand or more. I feel like you could get what you're looking for in a vehicle. What are around you looking that for? What are you looking for? I value my amenities. What do you value most? I value my amenities. When I drive a, my car. So here's the thing, Mike. Okay. I want, a, I want a reliable car. I want something that's decent on gas mileage. But mm. what I wanted in a car when I upgraded and I got my car was I was tired of driving pieces of shit. Yeah. I felt like I, ne I, I was like, I don't work. Hey, I've had enough. Well, I was I've like, well, fuck, dude. Shit. I'm like, I'm at a point in my life. I'm just I'm like, right I ain't working at Mickey D's. I'm not working at fucking Walmart. Like, I make good money. Okay, there you go. I was like, I want my vehicle to reflect my life. There you go. I want it to reflect at least how I'm doing. I, you know, and, and that you know that I might that. sound materialistic. I feel that. No, I feel that. Because some people make a ton of fucking money and they drive, they, they, drive they drive whatever. They drive Lambo. If it gets them to, it's oh, some people drive, drive a Lambo. Lambo, but some people make a ton of money and they just drive whatever the fuck gets them to where they gotta go. Sometimes you, know you gotta what, think you know about what I always it like trip that. Out on is gets like me when, where I gotta when go. You see like a piece of shit car, but it has really nice tires, or they keep it really clean yeah. for no reason. You're like that car is like about to die. Well, like I said, dude, some people have money and they don't. Dude, a car is just that to them. Yo, bro, that car looks like it's fresh from 1994. <laughs> oh, he's you're like, like, yeah, oh, but, shit. He's like, yeah, but it transmission's yeah. good. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, service to tranny, baby. Sir, service to tranny. Hey, have you ever seen Shane Gillis? Yeah. You fuck with Shane Gillis? Yeah, I fuck with Shane. He's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. Have you ever seen the Gillian Keeves show? No. no that's bro. Pretty, pretty funny. Ah, I gotta way, get you in The way he it. talks is pretty funny. He has like a he has a funny accent, like the way he he just like draws out his words. Yeah, the way he enunciates. He en yeah enunciations. The way he enunciates. According to the way he enunciates. Yeah, you know. According to the way he enunciates. Um, how about hit me with something, dog? What's what's going on? Hit me with fifty questions. Do I have fucking fifty questions? Fifty questions. You know? Okay, so I'm just gonna ask. I'm just gonna ask him at random. Okay. Fire him, bro. How do you like your steak? Medium rare. You like to park close or far away from the door at the grocery store? Depends on my mood, bro. Depends on your mood. Typically, I'd say seventy-five percent close. Seventy-five percent. I don't want to. I don't need to mob in. Seventy-five percent close. Okay. Um. Okay. Hmm. V necks. Yeah, they're fine. V neck. Okay. V neck. Yeah, but fine. here's the thing: on, on certain people, I don't wear them. Okay, well, fair enough. You know what fair I'm saying? Enough. Some people, I'm like, all right, dog, you get the V-neck. Fair enough, dude. Fair enough. Um, when you uh, when you when you uh, look for shoes, what do you look for in shoes? Hmm. Hmm. What do you look for when you get? I a like shoe? a dad shoe, so I like a real chunky sole. There you go. Real fucking thick sole, something go. that looks like you're gonna be so opposite of me. The opposite of you, probably. Opposite of me, because these ones are like these are this is called vulcanized. Yeah, you like something that's super small, low key. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I like a for chunky sure. sole. Yeah, for look sure. at how fucking thick. I feel that. You, okay, I got that. I so got that. I go chunky sole. That's probably my first thing, and then that's number one brand. 
brand depending on the brand i am still as much as i don't, I don't buy shoes like i used to but i still fucking give a shit about what i'm wearing no 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 i feel that i feel that all yeah, stupid yeah. i'm looking at your shoes <laughs> i'm all so staring Nike i'm all staring dog, down space hippies, was, yeah bro. no 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 for sure those are clean space hippies yeah those are clean uh, yeah um also too when you when you uh when you boil noodles do you use bottled water or do you use the sink water don't lie dog sink water Use the sink water? What the fuck are you doing, dog? For boiling noodles? Fuck yeah, you use that Colgan water, dog. Really? You just boil what you need. Yeah, you don't use all that other stuff. Why? Because it has a bunch of nasty shit in it you don't need. Do you... What? Yeah. For your pasta? Yeah, for your pasta. Yeah. Okay, here's the thing. I got, I'm going to change the subject a little bit. <laughs> but a bottle, what? Did I ever, did I ever, Did I ever talk about this here in the, in the stew? About how Max used to tell me how... I have not... Dude, I'm getting fucking... Max knows his pasta. Stewie and the stew. No, but Max, when he, because he fucking came from the East Coast, right? Yeah. And he used to always be like, I want a bagel. And I'd be like, go get a fucking bagel. And, and shut he's up like, and go get one. Huh? Shut up and go get a fucking yeah, bagel. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, they're not the same. He's like, East Coast bagel, different. Oh, the water. And I said, yeah, dude, the I did, maybe different. I did talk about yeah, this. The water's yeah, water's different over there. And so he would, he was, and I was like, what is it? Like, why, why, what makes it so much different? And he was like, here's the thing, dog. He's like, and I'm probably repeating something, but you know what? If you didn't watch the previous episode, you're going to learn something right now. And if you did watch the previous episode, reminding you. The different, there's different minerals in your water based off where you're at. So he's like, in New York, the water that they get mm -hmm. has a specific amount of whatever is in it yeah. that makes the bread different. He's like, it just, there's... He's like you can't you you can't replicate it. He's it's like you'd have to literally with bring the, yeast, then. the water over. Yeah, exactly for the yeah. yeast. He's like you'd have to literally bring the same same water and shit. And he was saying in culinary arts school, like fucking yeah. when you learn about foods, he he said that's something you learn about. It's like literally like based off where you're at, the region you're in, the, there's going to be completely different minerals in your fucking in your water. He's like fruits will grow and taste differently. Yes. Um, like. Yeah. It, I get like even my fuck, it, it, my buddy Ryan in Texas was telling me that like, fucking people over there don't know what they don't know what half of our fruits taste like. Well, huh? they don't know. There was like a certain lettuce, yeah, that they were like, They're like what the they, fuck? He, is he that, was looking huh? for the lettuce, and he was he was like, yeah, that's the lettuce, and they were like, no, I've never seen this shit basically, and he was like, that's what it looks like. He's yeah. like, you just you guys. You guys get this Texas lettuce shit, bro. He's like, this imagine is fucking, on what imagine so on, normal lettuce on looks what like. we're fucking us Californians are missing out on because we're not going over to Texas and eating their lettuce and shit. They probably got badass butter buttered lettuce or something. You know what I'm saying? Their lettuce probably tastes hella good, bro. They, it's different soil. It's different everything. So you know everything. Probably, Everything's, everything's better in different. Texas. So what if? Oh man, lettuce better. What, dude? Okay, what's your favorite produce? Not fruit. I'm saying produce. Like when you go to the produce section, yeah, well, okay, well, yeah. When you go to the produce section, what do you go to look for? Who has like when you're like, this is a good ass produce section. Who do I think has the best produce section? What do you look for? What makes a good produce section? Man, that's a good question. Well, I'd like I'd like stores to do more. I'd like to I'd like them to take. I'd like to I'd like for them to take more. Uh, a different approach. Or that? I'd like them to take more. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, inspiration from like a farmer's market yes. or like a uh or like if you go down to avila valley barn yeah farm yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. and they got all the stations set up yeah and the produce looks ripe and fresh dude they got the and best it's stocked produce well there, dog. and yep. the colors are they're popping, they're popping bro on. they could they're not a color popping, coordinate dog. they're all fucking yes. on the color wheel yes complimenting each other and they're all sitting on these like just standard four leg tables and they're just scattered everywhere, like little yeah. islands of produce. Yo, you're right. And huh? that's what I fuck with. And when you go into a Vons, they're lacking, bro. They're slacking. <laughs> There's something that they're missing <laughs> right there. Fucked up, dude. It doesn't feel that's right, dude. Up. Your, your it doesn't neighborhood feel market. fucking. You know what? You're right. It doesn't because feel good, when you dude. go to some place that has like a more natural setting to it, and they just stuff all the greens next to each other in big bunches God. and all that, I'm like, God, it's all misting. Psh, I love God. that, dude. They got a bunch of Remember assortments when we were of carrots. in Monterey and we walked out from Mon fucking Mon Monterey. Mon Monterey and yeah. we walked out in the fucking farmer's market Bro, was going. Bro, that shit was fire, dude. Yeah, I remember. That shit just fucking, it put a fucking bit of fire in my soul. Made me feel good, bro. I wanted to buy hummus. You want, <laughs> hey, dude. I was going to find somebody. You would love hummus. I love hummus. I've had a bunch of different types of hummus. I, I wanted to go to the hummus, hummus. convention to let saying. them know how much I like Where it. Where are they at? They're just frijoles. 
frijoles I, convention, I, as far as I'm fucking concerned. It basically, is a frijoles. Frijoles. Convention. Now, where do they Frijole. hold the where do they hold the hummus convention? I don't fucking know, but we should find out. Probably Argentina. You so I had a homeboy train? dog. I had a guy come in the other day. Yeah. He came in. He 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 looked like he came from L.A. Yeah. Okay. He was like Filipino, maybe. Yep. And he was wearing two gold chains, mm -hmm. and one of the gold chains had a fucking shark. Like a, Ooh, like a gold shark on it. That sounds sick. What else? Happened? But it wasn't like giant. It was just it was small enough, low key enough. But you were like, that you're like I feel it. Like, hey, hey, yeah, yeah. I was like, it's like yeah, you're like, like, you're, uh. like it's like too big, and you're like you're trying to do something here. Yeah. But that small, you're like probably cost you some fucking money, dude. It's gonna. But you fuck with that yeah, shark yeah, right there, yeah, dog. Yeah. So there's something about you, bro, that you're like I'm the Yo. motherfucking shark, bro. Yeah. But he came in and he was fucking fresh as shit, bro. Fresh as shit from the toe up to the flow up. Yeah. From all the way down, dog. He was fucking, he was dripped out. To the gills. But low key dripped out. Okay. Just clean oh, as shit. Low, low. Just clean, bro. All white, gold, like, Dude. just look clean. Gold and shit. And I was like, gold. I was like, damn, bro. I was like, gold? I was like, how's your day? And he was like, he's like, man, it's been better. He's like, we came out here to go to the fucking, the avocado fest. Oh, shit. It's like out here in Moro. He had those healthy fats. And he was like, he was like, and honestly, it wasn't that good this year. He was like the last three years, like he's he comes out for this shit. It's like the last three years, it was awesome. It was oh. a margarita, it's a margarita and avocado fest. Oh shit! And uh, so he's like, he's like they have it. He's like where they had it. He's like I couldn't even drink, but he was like going in, and I was like, damn, but fools like homeboys Yo. out here, Yo. dripped up. No. Coming out here he for the avocado margarita fest, dog. <laughs> With the he, shark next to no, He got no margarita. And honestly, he got no margarita. Shout out Sharky Do. You step your game up, bro. It's a shark neck, dog. The shark shark no, necklace. Shark's been sporting some jewelry for a while. I know, but does he have a shark necklace? I don't know. I always told him you should get a you should get like one of your like a grill, like a small grill, like a little frontal. And then get the shark right there, like stamped out. What if he got the what if he got the shark like, a doll, like the shark know? grin tatted right here? Dude, that'd be sick. What if he just like puts a fin on his back? You know what I'm saying? Like a realistic one. He just acts like it just no he just doesn't say anything. Like Sa hey, you seen South Park? We won't say anything. You, you know? seen South Park where Randy transforms into a dolphin? No. He gets plastic surgery. Yeah. Because he wants like to that. be a dolphin. Exactly like that. So we you want to have a get a get a fin on him? You ever seen the renderings when they 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 say like what would the Ninja Turtles look like when they're real? If they're real turtles. Yeah, yeah. Disgusting. Scary, dude. Mm -hmm. I like Shark Bear the way he is. He's fresher that way. Yeah, you're right. You Let's know? keep Shark Shark in a black Mercedes, dude. Damn. Okay. Dude, his fucking ride's still pretty bad. Hey, Shark. Shout out, but we need you to come on in, dog. We hit you up. You didn't answer. It's okay. Mateo, you know what? We'll see you in the next couple weeks. They lost. Who else are we? Who? Cowboys? Cowboys lost. No, nah, I don't know. My, uh, I was going to say, Ernie? Oh, dude, they lost. Did they, Ernie! Did they lose? <laughs> no, nah, we're about to find out right now. <laughs> Yo, the Cowboys lost. I'm fucking sorry because I jinxed that shit. The Cowboys lost. Did they? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Cowboys oh, lost. No way. Dude, Cooper rushed through three interceptions. What? One touchdown, three interceptions. Here's the thing, guys. Like, That's horrible. The Eagles are the Eagles are the real deal. Huh? They're gonna be the real deal right now. They're the real deal right now. Eagles been the real deal. The 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 Cowboys defense is insane, and they just just ran over them. Kind of tossed. Them. Haven't they been like that, huh? Cowboys? No, Philly. Philly's always up and down. Philly's always up and down. Yeah, they they've won a couple of Super Bowls. Looks like they're on track for another one. Mm. I feel that. It still go Niners though, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what it go Rams over there, even though. Dude, Sunday. Let's go think, Niners, Sunday, baby. I think it's like the 29th or some shit. Rams, Niners? It's home. I'll have to come over for that. Yeah, hell yeah. Call out sick. Call out. You know what I'm saying? Bottom, That's a wrap, bro. That's a wrap. Y'all have a good night. Crush a beer. Smoke a joint. Just tell your family you love them. Hasta la vista, baby. Good night.